defeat me. The hate and anger that resides in the heart of every man and woman in the world powers me. It brings me to life. To destroy me is to destroy all. This hero that stands before me is nothing more than my plaything, and it's been so long since I've toyed with him. I think it's time to resume his torment. Ah oh man, this is the life. Ever since I escaped that creepy mansion, things have been great. I just stay in my apartment all day long watching TV. All my food gets delivered to me. I can't even remember the last time I went outside. Although, I miss everyone. Tommy, Nick, even that creepy Ashley girl. I definitely don't miss those weirdo story characters. Josh the Killer, Timmy Toby. No, thank you. I'm glad I'll never see them again. Now that I think about it, this past year has been weird. I'm not even sure if I order the food. It just sort of shows up. No, I, I got out of the mansion. There's no way that I'm still stuck in the mansion. Right? Right? Nah, this can't be happening. I left here. I, I even blew it up to smithereens. How is this possible? Anything is possible, Corey. That voice. No, this is even less possible. Corey, search your feelings. You died, I think. This place sort of warps my memories. Maybe I did. Maybe I didn't. Maybe you're possessed by some demon spirit and you're going to eat me. Trust me. You're the last person I'd want to eat. I'll have you know I'm delicious. I won't be finding out if that's true. You're not Nick. You can't be. I'll be truthful, Corey. I'm not Nick. This is merely the image I have chosen to communicate through. Then who are you, or, or what? That is a story for another time. Story? No. N no more stories. No more reading. There is a way out of this mansion, but it is hidden hidden within the pages of the story that you so loathe. You're lying. Every time I read a story, it becomes real, right? You just want some sort of army of monsters. Follow me. I'll have to show you. I don't want to. What if I just stand here? I'd imagine you'd eventually starve, wither down to bones, and die. You're stuck here, and doing nothing won't change that. Fine, I'll follow you, but I won't like it. Of course. In here, you will find all the answers you seek, and maybe even some truths that you would shy away from. These are just more of those stories. And within them are the answers you seek. Oh my god, it's like talking to a wall. If I read those, they'll come to life, and then they'll try to kill me. That is sadly true. You have a gift that even I can't really explain. So why should I read any of them? Hidden away in these are clues to escaping the mansion. Bits of information that will put you on the right path. There are hundreds of these stories. How will I know which ones I have to read? You have abilities, Corey. Extrasensory perception, as the scientists call it. I think the story you pick will be the one you're looking for. So just pick a story at random. No, trust your feelings. Intuit which one is the right one. <sighs> okay. Here goes nothing. Hmm, which one is calling to me? What's this one? The Sandman. I think this is the right one. Then read it. All right. Those who dream by day are cognizant of many things that escape those who dream only at night. What? Keep reading. Don't stop. Ugh, fine. Daniel, go to bed and wait for the Sandman. Daddy, what does the Sandman look like? Oh, nothing really. It's just an expression. Like, don't let the bedbugs bite. But bedbugs are real. 
Remember, I got sent home from summer camp because of them. Yes, but the Sandman isn't real. He's just a storybook character. What does he do? He comes to help good children go to sleep. He sprinkles magic sand in their eyes so they'll have good dreams. Boy is so inquisitive. I bet he'll become a doctor someday. <sighs> I think I need a little Sandman myself. What was that? Come on, Daniel. You're coming with me. Dad? Come on. Hello? Police? Yes, I'd like to report a break-in. Yes, the burglar, he looked like... Um, a man. A man in a mask. Some sort of Halloween mask. Yes, thank you. The police came and went without doing much. They just said I should install a burglar alarm and they'd keep their eye out for someone in a Halloween mask. I knew I was lying though. It hadn't been a mask. It was real. A real life monster. Daddy, do you think this Sandman will visit me again tonight? No, I don't think he'll ever come back, Daniel. So sleep easy. Oh, okay. That's good, I guess. Are you sure you're okay sleeping alone? Yeah, Dad. I'll be fine. Good night. All right. Sleep tight. Go to bed and wait for the Sandman. Everything is fine. There's no way that creep could get in again. Must be my imagination. So what will it be today, Danny? French toast or pancakes? No opinion on the matter? Danny? Are you okay? Don't feel like talking today, buddy? Maybe you should stay home from school. Go to your bedroom. I'll be up in a minute. All right, champ. Let's take your temperature. A bit cold, but that's okay. It is a bit chilly out today. Now let's hear your heartbeat. I couldn't believe it. He had no heartbeat. It couldn't be possible, yet here it was. I ignored it, buried my head away from the truth. Danny, why don't you lay down for a bit? If you're anywhere, you'd be in here. Where are you? (laughs) 
I should check on Daniel. Just make sure he's sleeping well. So that's where the sand comes from. Danny, we have to go, now. Okay, Danny, we're... Daddy? Daddy? Leave my family alone, you disgusting creep. But I am your family. You were alone. You wanted a child, so I made one for you. Made one? Out of what? Out of myself. And now I need those parts back. Danny, your eyes. What? He's going to be a part of me again. No, this isn't possible. People will notice he's missing. People only remember what I want them to. Now, how is that supposed to help me escape, Nick? Nick? Ah, oh, great. 